One of the mysteries of wartime science, one of the war's most closely guarded secrets, the miracle of radar is now revealed. Complicated ground detectors and portable direction finders warn of the approaching enemy and locate him unerringly. Shortwave radio signals sent out and returned as echoes allow the plotting room to spot the target. The cathode tube and intricate setups of electronic devices play major parts in this magic eye of war and peace. And not the least of these wonders is the oscilloscope. Here is a simple explanation of radar. Waves sent out show on the oscilloscope. Beamed by transmitter and directional antennas, they strike the target and bounce back to be picked up by the receiver. And the PIP does it. Navy, Signal Corps, and Air Force pictures show how ships and planes are located from a control ship. During the war, many of our vital convoys were saved by radar. The beam from our control ship swings to locate an enemy raider. Many U-boats were sent to their graves in this manner. The enemy is spotted on the scope from which distance and direction are plotted. Or from one of our scouting planes. Controls in the plane adjust wing antennas which turn until the beams they are sending echo back strongly, indicating a target. The animation describes it. The indicator picks up the ship on the left. Ship on right is indicated. Even the shoreline is mapped. Here's the way a radar-equipped plane picks up an entire convoy. The directional antenna maps the identical convoy on the scope. On the ground, directional equipment spots the approach of an enemy plane many miles away. And here's the pip on the indicator. The pip remains steady if it's an enemy plane. But if the men locate one of our own, equipped with the proper instruments, well, here's the way the beam bounces. Watch the pip jump. Fog, one of the pilot's biggest problems, is solved by radar. Many of our heroic fighters were landed safely during the war, and in peacetime, radar will bring our commercial transports and passengers safely home and prevent air collisions. The plane crew, controlled from the ground, watches the indicator, which here shows them off the beam to the right. By readjusting his controls, the pilot puts the ship right in the groove. Ground control instruments keep exact track of the incoming plane's altitude and direction. In the thickest fog or darkest night, radar-sensitive instruments guide the ship in safely. Happy landings, thanks to radar. <laughs>